So the first thing I'm going to do is make a MIDI clip and I'm using a minor triad chord which is kind of typical for dub techno. Now I'm making sure it's like a fairly long note. Now I want to choose the oscillator. So I'm going over here to oscillator 1. I'm just going to um, have a look through these wavetables and find one I like. I want something that sounds kind of like a saw wave. turn down the filter cut off a bit and I'm over in the modulation matrix section I've mapped the uh, envelope 2 to the filter cut off now in envelope 3 I'm going to give it some attack Basically, when envelope 2 finishes, um, envelope 3 will kick in. So you, you, you get the little stab from envelope 2 and then the filter will rise back up using envelope 3. So now we've got our envelopes down, I'm go going over into the audio effects here and I, I want to put a reverb on there. And I'm using Ableton stock reverb. So I'm just adjusting the transpose on the oscillator, pitching it down a bit. Over in the unison section here, I'm, I'm going to um, select a um, unison model. I'm just going with the classic one for now, it, it gives it a nice kind of detune sound. And um, I want to set LFO1 here to, not to the pitch, to the, the oscillator position. So it's like scanning through the wavetable and I'm turning re-trigger off. So back in the filter here, I've changed it to a 24 pole and um, the MS2 filter and giving it some drive. So I want to put a effect on there and I'm going to use um, a phaser 
and um, this gives the sound a bit more movement and I'm just going to use a preset here Um, I'm just adjusting the amp envelope a bit, giving it a bit of attack. Now I'm going to drop some OTT on there and I'm just going to turn the amount down a bit so it's not too, uh, not too much. And on the split frequency, on, on the high frequency here, um, I actually want to modulate it. So I'm going to use a Max for Live LFO device and map that to the frequency. Uh, you could use any. Um, distortion device that has like a filter on it and, and just modulate that filter. I find multi-band distortion works really nicely on dub chords if you modulate like the mid-band or something. But anyway, OTT works great anyway. Um, next I'm putting delay on there, I'm just using Ableton stop delay. Um, Over in oscillator 2 here, I'm enabling it. Just going to see if I can come up with something. So if you, you change the filter mode to split, um, that lets oscillator to, um, it routes it to its own filter. So you've got basically two filters on this sim. And um, I'm just changing the oscillator to white noise. And so if I go over to the filters here and I, I, I turn on filter two, we can then filter that white noise oscillator independently. So I can I can then go into the matrix here and map um, an LFO or, or an envelope to, to that filter and we get kind of like a white noise layer going on, a bit of movement. Just turn the resonance up, see if that helps. Envelope free things to work nicely for now on a negative value. So um just pitching it down a bit. feedback up here on the delay. I actually want to map the LFO to the sustain on the amp envelope. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that works really nicely. Yeah, over in the MIDI clip here, I want to um, mess about with the chords a bit, see if I can come up with like a little chord progression. Yeah, that's working pretty nicely for now. I'd actually like to automate the cutoff here in the MIDI clip, so I'm going over to the envelope section here and I've unlinked it. And I'm just drawing in some automation so that the cutoff opens up on that last note. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.